Welcome back. It's time now to check out what's at the movies today. Film critic and friend of the show, Tom Santilli, is previewing some summer fun this year. Hello, I'm film critic Tom Santilli coming to you today with a special summer movie preview. A look ahead at some of the most highly anticipated films coming up this summer. It's also Top Gun Day today. Yes, there is such a thing. Uh, so stick around to the end for your chance to score tickets to an advanced screening of the new Top Gun Maverick. We'll start there. Top Gun Maverick is, of course, the follow-up to the 1986 blockbuster Top Gun. The new film lands on Memorial Day weekend and stars Tom Cruise, Miles Teller, and Jennifer Connelly. Just want to manage the expectations. The other May release that I'm excited about is Chippendale Rescue Rangers the movie, which lands on Disney Plus on May 20th. Now, I know for some this might look to be a nostalgic pick. I grew up watching the show back in the day, but the previews look like it's channeling Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and Chip and Dale are voiced by John Mulaney and Andy Sandberg. so I'm super excited but cautiously optimistic about this film version of one of my favorite old TV shows. With, like, professional. <gasps> Same time. <gasps> Chase, you, you owe me a non-brand non specific cola. cola. What? That was crazy. <gasps> Somebody <gasps> called get his book. <gasps> this is incredible. Oh, my God. Oh, we lost it. The big movies in June start with Jurassic World Dominion, which is supposedly the final chapter in the saga and brings back the original cast as well as the cast of the newer films. See? Not so bad. Pixar's Lightyear imagines that the Toy Story hero Buzz Lightyear was actually based on a real-life adventurer, who in this movie is voiced by Captain America himself, Chris Evans. Lightyear looks to be one of the biggest family films of the summer. To infinity. Are you trying to get me to pull your finger? Don't fall for it. No, not like that! Ugh. Sorry, it's a thing your grandma and I used to do. Yeah. June also brings us Elvis directed by Moulin Rouge director Baz Luhrmann, and has been getting a lot of buzz for the performances of Austin Butler as Elvis Presley, as well as Tom Hanks as Colonel Tom Perker. We are the same, you and I. The next big Marvel movie comes in July. Thor Love and Thunder is the fourth Thor movie and 29th feature film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and it stars Chris Hemsworth and Natalie Portman. <laughs> Then there's Bullet Train, which looks like a slick, highly stylized action film starring Brad Pitt and Zazie Beetz. Last and certainly not least, July gives us the newest film from the mind of Jordan Peele. It's called Nope, and it lands in theaters on July 22nd. Of course, I'll be here for all of these movies, and you can always find my full reviews, celebrity interviews, and full episodes of our locally produced TV show, Movie Show Plus, on our website, movieshowplus.com. I have a special offer for all of you movie lovers out there. I have some free tickets to see Top Gun Maverick ahead of the general public. Just go to the link on your screen and remember that these tickets are limited and are available on a first come first serve basis brought to you by Movie Show Plus. As you can see, there are plenty of reasons to get back to the movie theaters this summer and to help support your local movie theaters. I hope to see you all out there. You know I'll be there. Until next time, I'm Tom Santilli, film critic. We'll see you at the movies. Feels good to get excited about so many new movies. Lots of great ones, it looks like, coming out this summer. Thank you, Tom.